I, I am still talking about spirituality. Yesterday we talked about kulengea kusu mtu mwenye anatembea na Mungu anapata siku yake ya baadaye na kaje. We, we studied chapter number You remember the chapter we studied? Exodus. Unaota ama uko tu sawa? Deuteronomy chapter number 32 verse 9 and was 9 and 9 uh, to 14 I want to read chapter number 4 of 1 Timothy verse 8 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 8 <coughs> The Bible says for bodily exercise profits little but godliness is profitable unto all things having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come and LT says physical exercise has some value but spiritual exercise is much more important for it promises a reward in both this life and the next what i like about uh, king james he says bodily exercise profits little but godliness is profitable unto all things i understand physical exercise physical exercise i think some of us have just done it I think this is combined yeah this is physical and spiritual the one of, I know some of us are sweating dancing running up and down or sometimes we jog around we go to gym physical exercise physical exercise might be specifically for the physical body but Paul says godliness which is spirituality he says it is profitable unto all things If you become a spiritual person or a man or a woman, spiritual woman or a man, he says you have a lot of benefits. And uh, what we are doing here as I said from the beginning, we're just building our capacity, our spiritual capacity. When you are strong spiritually, you're strong everywhere. You're strong everywhere. You are a spirit being. Wewe ni roho anayeishi ndani ya mwili. Ndio mara nyingi tunashughulikia tuna sana mwili. Wakati tunaamua kushughulikia roho yako ama wewe mwenyewe ukijishughulikia eh, wewe utakuwa hodari. Is that the right word? Strong, yeah? You become strong and everything you do becomes strong. I want you to realize what will happen after this uh, after this so many days of prayer the word of God worship praises you will realize every area of your life is being strengthened every area eh? you know every area as you become strong everything about you becomes strong everything be it your business be it the place of your work in fact there will be you might be surprised god is going to give you new, new ideas that you have never had that might bring you more benefit more benefit than you have ever had this is this is a, pro, a, a moment of being elevated to the next level this one everything concerning you will only go up What we are doing here is godliness or what what did, what King James version calls it godliness what other version says spiritual exercise a spirit being does not sleep shaitan analala 
I think usingizi ni ya wale ambao wako na uh, mwili eh? physical body angels don't sleep uh-huh. god does not sleep uh-huh. demons don't sleep mwenda wazimu analala sana Nini ya mtembee usiku mimi natembea usiku. Mwenda wazimu. Always is walking. Ati mwenda wazimu unajua nyumba yake penye nala. Hata hmm? penye yako hata kama kwa kibanda fulani kukosa na nyumba anakatwa kiongea I think inabidi tuende tutafute moja tuangalie kama analala analala hata mimi hata na nguo ndio wakati unalala unatafuta joto ndio <laughs> the uh, kuna moja na monanga kila asubuhi ako tu ifuata na teremko hiyo njia ya kiwanja ndege i don't know how anavanga gunia mali wengine wanazamjua <laughs> that guy is always busy kuna mwingine nakutana na yeye kwa njia many times nikipanda nikivuja mwana inivosha yeye yeah, yeah, anaongea tu anasimama tu ana and then kila mali tu ana another tall guy always they are busy one day the man of god told us something if you see so many mad people in town he said that is somebody's business marata wengi sorry <laughs> marata ni mwenda wazimu if you see so many kuna mwingine hapa hii town anaandika andika vitu kwa ako busy huko ako busy hapa ako busy mpaka unashangaa nguvu anatoa wapi hmm? you see when you become spiritual you will reduce your sleep and this wangapo na lala sai sangapi sai saine kuna wengine kama ni mimi ningekuwa nyumbani saa hizi nimeenda nimekuwa nimeenda <laughs> nitaanza kujisikia around saa nane uh, unless nimetaka kuomba kutoka saa saba eh? and then maybe saa tisa then kule hmm? I'll listen to Salman He says maximize night period in prayers. He says you're going to rule the day. Those of us who pray at night a moment like this, hours. There's a reason as why we are picking this three hours from 9 to Remember what Bishop Lorian taught us. Night eh? prayer watches. He told us from 6 to 9. 9 to 12 12 to 3 yes 3 to 6 in the morning 6 to 9 9 to in fact i am i have already begun practicing ninyi mkienda kulala mimi saa kumi na moja nimerudi hapa eh then nagonga mpaka 6:40 then naenda kufanya nini napeleka watoto sasa nataka kwanza 9 to 10 those, those, those hours when we get used to praying those hours one man of god said if you put up a church i think that's why sometimes there are things we need to don't hear in the bible school that to hear from some men of god there's a man of god who has specialized in keeping these prayer watches and he says The least number of prayer watches we should have is three. There are eight. Of the eight you must have three. Eight, sorry, six to nine, nine to twelve, twelve to three, three to six. That is four. So night four during the day is four. When you this thing is somewhere 
I don't know why I'm going there. Can I show you something? I don't know if I've ever shown you this. Let's go to Acts chapter number chapter number two. Very fast. Acts chapter number two. <clears throat> And I'm going to read uh, verse. The time the church, the the, Pente the, the the disciples were praying. We're just looking at. We will look at them, and we see what they are telling us. Uh, verse fourteen. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, You men of Judea and all, all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and ye came to my words. For these are not drunken as you suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. Third hour of the day is what time? Hmm? 9 a.m. Verse 1 says, chapter 2, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. At what time? Nine. All at one place, praying. There was a day I prayed about this kind of meeting. I think I now see it has come to pass. Where as a church we gather the hour of prayer. Nine is the hour of prayer. And that's why I want to encourage many of us to try to be here by nine. When you are beginning from nine and then you go until twelve, sorry. That period, that period, nine, they all gathered in the church. What were they doing? Praying. As they were praying, heaven opened. There is no one, there is no doubt that Heaven is open of a divine life. There's no wonder. As they gathered in one accord, the Bible says, whatever promise that God gave, it happened. They only prayed for 10 days after Jesus left. But they prayed being in one place. And what happened? The very promise of the Father landed. There is power in the unity. There is power. I am very sure these 30 days will access more than we have ever got in the last five years. These five days. This kind of prayer that we come together and pray in oneness has benefit for each one of us individually. And it has a benefit for the corporate. Huh? When I talk about corporate, I mean as a church. It has benefit for us as a church. At the same time, it has benefit for each one of us. Kama unakuja hapa kila siku, tarajia mabadiliko. Tarajia miujiza. Tarajia you know, we were discussing some few things as leaders, just from, from around 7.30. And uh, one of the things that somebody was saying, this prayer, I feel it is doing something. And I told him, I even see more than what you've seen. <laughs> when we gather like this and pray. Eh? Hmm? Look at this other verse. This is at 3 p.m., Look at chapter number 3, verse 1. Chapter 3, verse 1 of the book of Acts. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer being ninth. Amplified saints. Now Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer. The ninth hour, that is 3 o'clock in the afternoon hour of prayer. Nine is the hour of prayer. Three is the hour of prayer. One man of God said, I think after he exposed something of this kind, he said, some of us are praying at the wrong hours 
That is why some of our prayers are not being heard. Hmm? Hours of prayers. Three is another one. I think uh, we normally do our lunch hour from 12.30. That means somebody should begin from 12. Let me show you the 21. Chapter number 10. There's a man here from verse 1. Then there was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of band called the Italian band, a devout man, one that feared God with all his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. I want the time that they have given us. Wapi time uh, Look for me a uh, time when he was praying. What time was he praying? Somewhere, ah, verse 3. He saw in a vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day an angel of God coming to him and saying unto him, Cornelius, at 3. He went to pray. These hours of prayer, these this watches, 6 in the morning, 9, 12, 3, then six in the evening, nine in the night. The angels are alert to anybody praying. Anybody praying. Mumai angalia ile time was time one hour. Have you ever thought what time they pray? What was the afternoon? Twenty. Then from there three. Then six. Usiku ni kama walisa au mali. Usiku pendi eight, ya. Hajafika nine. But they will make sure. You see, looking at. If you see twelve, if you see three, if you see six. Those periods, they are very. There's an illegal way of accessing the spiritual realm and controlling the environment. And there is the right way to access the spiritual realm and affect the... When God created Adam, Adam could access heaven because he didn't have any sin. He was right with God. Even after man fell, the devil empowered some of his men to act the witch, the sorcerers, these people, diviners, these guys who they use some natural means. The other day I was hearing a man of God preaching and saying that Kulikwana, a witch, ali train him to Tawake, or Miaka Kumina Tatu. And you want to Alienda kuwa Alienda ku ali, Ni maid, akaenda kufanya kwa nyumba ya mzee fulani 13 years But what? <laughs> A witch <laughs> And then What happened? I don't know what, what this man did After the man was so angry at this girl, he wanted to slap. She did something and killed the man. Then she asks the father, I didn't mean to kill him, Nimemua. By the time here, here, and I will listen and I will meet up my pastor's kuja ukuombea. Pastors wame kuja wame Wanja muku wamba Ndiyo mzea fufuke So the lady went and asked The prayer of this man of God Some of them bishop Some of them apostles No hile nye ulijipakia Chua kuna hile jina unapiwekea Grace nye hiko Najita mimi ni apostle fulani 
If the grace was not released, the grace of apostleship was not released in you, you can't do with some of these things. This lady, this small girl, now the man told, go and do something so that she will come back to life. But already the men of God are stood there, so she couldn't have time. She could have brought the man back to life. But the pastors came in and she couldn't get a chance to, to do anything. The guy was buried. How is it that they can even bring back to life somebody that they know what to, to do spiritually? Kama kweli tutatawa lait county. We must learn how to access the spiritual realm and turn everything around in the city. We must be more powerful than the witch and the sorcerers in the area. We must. We must. We must. So, let me give you another one. At what time was Peter praying? Verse 9. On the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew nigh unto the city, Peter went upon the housetop to pray about sixth hour. Yoni? 12 p.m. For the 6 p.m. one, you can see Genesis chapter number 1. So there is 6. PM and both AM. There is nine, both PM and AM. And then there is twelve, both PM and AM. And there is three, twelve, nine, six. When you're praying within this timeline that you have been given there is a way you will affect the environment usiku bishop kakala told us something it is in the night the wicked men do their things na wanakwaribia siku yako Usiku wanafanya vitu zao na mchana mambo inaharibika There is nothing called accident in this life Accident for, is for those people who don't understand the spiritual realm hmm? I think the other day my father was telling me how somebody's day of death has already been put in place Mwezi wa saba Siku ya tano Fifth 2024 Siku yake ya kufa isha wekwa Na ni kama Might be March Na wanajua in four months time That thing is set I, I had another one I spoke when the, When the, the singer In this town died where a man of God was removing demons out of a woman and the, it was in February the date for her death has been set 24th of May 2022 and it is and how are we going to die she has a small vehicle kuna junction fulani kona fulani yogari yake ndogo itagongana na truck and she will be crushed in and she will die watu wakikufa tunasema nini Mungu ali Mungu alipenda akiwa mdogo mtoto akikufa teenager akikufa you didn't know that they have already set your time of death Mungu anajua kwa nini alimchukua ignorant Ignorance speaking. 
But somebody has prayed and they have already set how your, your life will look like. Wameweka. Sasa wewe mwenye uombi utaishi kulingana na vile wamekupangia. When we begin learning some of these secrets, we will pray even to a point where we can affect our finances. How is it that some people just come here? Squeeze one. Sometimes back we were hearing that what one ended up know, park a man here, one up here, a strange one. Why is correct? Why my? When you want to fuga, buyha. Jen penye unafanya kazi. You have to be very spiritual. Uyo mtu anam anafuga buyha. Kwa nyumba fulani. There's somebody in this church and all that and I did this before. She was working here and I used to in a home and I just came to the house. She bumped into her mother's own room. Aka fungwa akaona katoroka. ndio kufanya kazi kwa hiyo hoteli na wao kuna njia wanatumia kuleta hizo pesa na pesa yenye wanakupatia haidumu inaisha kama kitu kingine na wao unabaki kwa slaves and they rule our environment I want to say this those businesses that function by those means dark means will never survive in this town in the name of Jesus they are accessing the spiritual realm through illegal means that's why Jesus says when you enter a city occupy and cast out some demons are cast out in terms of a human beings you collapse their business they leave you take over biashara ikikufa wao pia wame na wewe unasimama if we choose to wash more than them we will take the land huh? did you hear what i said leo naongea tu kuhusu maombi tu you might be tongea kuhusu uh kuhusu yale mengine baadaye ni kuhusu kuhusu tu maombi why do you think they do not miss prayers i mean Sisi <laughs> You can't be 
wealthy unless you are spiritual. Whether you are spiritual by the means that we have through Jesus Christ or by these other means. So, you must note that everything begins getting better when you become spiritual. The godliness we talked about, there's so many things we will talk about, but today I'm looking at just that, that bit. If you're praying from 9 to 12, and we meant it. <laughs> you see the praises you're making here, in the praise. But there's some people just praised God and their enemies were destroyed. In fact, the Bible says when they began singing, the angels turned their enemies against themselves and they destroyed each other and they perished. And the children of Israelites, they received their victory just by singing when you're singing when you mean what you're saying that's why we are praying here may God give you grace these 30 days we're not missing any day even Sunday we're not missing we are praying daily until something turns around. Why did God bring this prayer at this time over this town? There must be something. There must be something. Must. And, and you know, if, if come on, Jayanza, be a shut up and done it after father, the answer. Kuna vitu una fugua. Lakin just a way we hauna hauna share kwa town. Na kama ukuna kitu umeanza before the end of these 30 days you must be speaking to the progress of their business. Must. Must. Hii kanisa hii 30 days ikipita lazima kuwe na watu wengi apandani. This week I'm looking at lunch 20 people. 19. 20. 20. This week, this prayer can affect the lunch hour. It can fill this place. It can release. One of the things I'm expecting to have more in this place is money. Kuna shida. Tukipata million ni hapa ndani. Kuna kuna shida. Kitu moja natarajia pesa. Amen. You saw Pastor Lai began something in Midtown. Then now they call it Midtown. Kenya Cinema in why is it called? Mabasa 1987. Apostle Juma went to Kenya Cinema. Ata Pastor Tia meenda huko. Taz they come leo from 5 to 8 wako wapi? In the evening. Wako Kenya Cinema. They come in the middle of the town and they take dominion. Money comes to them. They buy big land out there. There's something about a spiritual house or a, a, a house of God like this katikatia town. And you vibrant. There's something about it. There's something about it. Whatever the land has comes to us if we become more spiritual than those that are using the wicked force. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Tenisiongee kuliko hiyo hiyo inatosha leo. 
this remaining 35 minutes, I want us to pray. Amen. I want us to pray. 